Hello, my artist. This is Miss Schaefer, and I would like to talk to you about the color wheel and why it is so important for us to know it. So, let's go. So, I made a coloring page for you on the sheet. They have circles in representing of every color. Remember when we did shape to form last week and we colored the circle in a curve, like to mimic the shape of the edge? That's what I'd like you to do again today. We need to keep those great habits, okay? We are gonna learn about the color wheel. So we have these primary colors. There's three of them. They're very important. They make all the other colors in the color wheel. But guess what? You can't make them. You cannot mix any two colors to make any of the primary colors. Do you have a guess on which three these are? If you guessed red, blue, or yellow, you are correct. So what happens if you mix two of the primary colors together? Guess what? You make a secondary color. So let's try it. So what happens if you mix red plus blue? That equals purple or violet. If you mix blue plus yellow, what does it make? Green. What about yellow plus red? orange. Okay, so you made it through the primary and secondary colors. What do you see that's familiar? Does it remind you of a rainbow? We like to call that rainbow Roy G. Biv. Roy is red, orange, and yellow. G is for green, and Biv is blue, indigo, and violet. Okay, so we went through primary colors and secondary colors. Well, there is a third set of colors. It is called tertiary or intermediate colors. And these colors are more than just three each. We have six. Let's see how we get them. So in order to make our intermediate colors, we have to take one primary color and mix it with one secondary color. So once we do that, we have to name it. It's kind of like those are its parents and it's gonna be named after them. So the first name is from the primary parent and the second name is from the secondary. So think of it like this. You have red and orange. The intermediate color will be red orange, not orange red, because the primary colors go first, red, blue, or yellow. And the secondary colors go second, and that is like orange, green, and violet. Okay, say we have an intermediate color and it's in between green and blue. What's its name? Is it green blue or is it blue green? Remember, primary word goes first, secondary second. Do you know? Yes, it is blue green. Good job. And we have no ish, we have no middle names. Okay, so we have these complementary colors and they're directly across from each other on the color wheel. It's kind of like your partner is way on the other side. But the way I like to think of it is you see them and you bow down to them and you say, why you look lovely today. But that's not really the compliment. It's actually that y'all two look good together. All the two colors right beside each other look awesome. Isn't that cool? So let's go over the complementary colors. They are like the opposite on the color wheel. So the complementary color to red is green. The complementary color to yellow is violet. The complementary color to blue is orange. So we are going to start with our primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. They're along that triangle with the strong line. So we start by curving our coloring along the shape of our circle. Since our circle is round, we're going to color in that arch all the way around. I'm going to show you different techniques. This one, you turn your page as you color. The video is kind of fast, so if you need to stop it, you can pause at any time. So the second way I wanted to do it is I wanted to go from the outside in and keep our paper still. So we're going to still have a circular motion. And then our yellow is going to be from the inside out. Whatever you feel comfortable with, 
that's how you should do it. But it's definitely going to be in a curve. So now we're going to color our secondary colors. So what does red plus blue make? It is purple. And we're still keeping good habits. And what does blue plus yellow make? Green. And then the last one, yellow plus red equals orange. Now we switch to the tertiary or intermediate colors and they're in the middle between the two parents. So if you have red and violet next to them, you start off coloring the lighter color first, not necessarily the primary color first, so that it absorbs in the paper better. So the one that we just did was between red and violet, so that is red-violet. This one is between violet and blue, but remember the primary name goes first, so it is blue-violet. And then now we have blue-green. What's the next one? Primary name goes first, secondary name goes second, yellow-green. Then we have yellow-orange. And then the last one is red-orange. So now I like to color the title. So I wanted to do it in Roy G. Biv order, like the rainbow. So we start with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you took your time in coloring all your circles in. Have a colorful day!